My name is Peter Tian. I'm a clinical podiatrist and a researcher, and my area of interest is assessing lower limb vascular status. So today I'm going to share with you how we measure an ankle brachial index. So we'll need to just consider the room conditions first. So we want a nice warm room about 23 degrees Celsius. We also want our patient to be resting supine for 10 minutes prior to us taking the measurement. In addition, we want them to also have um, abstained from caffeine, smoking and vigorous exercise in the hour leading up to the test taking place. So the equipment that you'll require is a handheld continuous wave Doppler ultrasound unit um, and some Doppler gel. And you also need a sphygmometer with a brachial cuff. So I'll put my gloves on first of all. And hayley has been resting here for 10 minutes, so she's ready to be measured. Okay. So you want the cuff to be um, approximately 1.5 times the circumference of the limb that you're measuring. And you should be able to find on most cuffs a little artery arrow. So the artery arrow needs to line up with the artery which you're testing. So we're going to test two arteries in the limb, uh, the dorsalis pedis and the posterior tibial artery. So I'll start with the dorsalis pedis. So I'll line my artery arrow up. The cuff needs to be placed around relatively firmly around the limb and have your cords out of the way there. So I'll place the Doppler gel on the artery which I'm testing. You can palpate first if you like to know where you're going. Get a nice signal. So then we'll inflate the cuff until that signal's obliterated or the sound goes away. And then I'll slowly release the cuff until that sound comes back. So that very first sound was the number at which we take the systolic pressure and we use in our measurement. So in Haley it was 164. Okay, so when you're finished with your dorsalis pedis artery pressure, we would then move on to the posterior tibial artery pressure. So the posterior tibial artery should be sitting just behind the medial malleolus and normally it's quite easy to palpate with your fingers. The thing that we need to remember is that the cuff needs to move around. So the little artery arrow needs to line up now with the posterior tibial artery. So we'll just move that around. Perfect. So again, we just pop it in um, the gel and get the best signal that we can. The Doppler angle should be at about 40 degrees, um, pointing towards the patient's head. Just come around this way. So once you're happy with the signal, inflate the cuff. until the sound is obliterated and then we just slowly release, waiting for that initial sound. So that was 162. So now we need to take our brachial pressure. So we use the brachial cuff and we place it around the arm. So I'll just get you to pop your arm out. We line up our artery line with the brachial artery and leaving enough space there for your um, Doppler probe to go in.
that's a good sound. One thirty for that one. Lovely. So an ABI should take approximately eight minutes to complete once you're well practiced. So keep practicing and thank you so much for your time today.